Thanks for joining me today for my wig review of Dakota by Envy in the color Lighter Red. Please subscribe to my channel if you find my reviews helpful and follow me on Instagram for quick tips and tricks. I would love to get to know you better. So this wig is one of my favorites right now. I really love the style. I love the wavy beachy curl pattern and I just think it's the perfect length to not be too long or too short and super feminine. The side swipe bangs, I did them side swiped, are very, very cute. And the cut overall is just adorable. So I wanna start out by giving you a look at Dakota from the front, the sides, and the back. So let's take a look at her. This is Dakota from the front. This is Dakota from the left side. This is Dakota from the back. And Dakota from the right. She's a cutie. All right, so let's talk about her dimensions. She has a five and a half inch fringe. And for me, I can just tuck that fringe if I want to. Do a little tuck here. I guess that would depend on how close your ears are. It may not tuck for everybody. Um, you also should know that she is a regular synthetic fiber. So the good news about that is she'll last longer than a heat uh, friendly fiber. The not so good news is you can't use heat on her to style which sometimes like when you want to get the bangs off the face, heat is always nice. I, I can't really use heat on it. So I usually pin it back when it's wet and put some wig wax and that usually does the trick. The other thing is she is pretty shiny out of the box. Um, I'm gonna keep it transparent with you. She's pretty shiny and that doesn't bother everybody, but it does bother me. Um, I don't want my wig to look too shiny. So I did do some dry shampoo on her. Um, and I might do a little more. I might try some baking soda. I'm not sure. I think she might work. I'm still kind of deciding. But if shine doesn't bother you, then that's, that's a non-issue. Non and if it does, there are tips and solutions that I'll be sharing. So the dimensions on her, besides that five and a half inch fringe, is uh, 8.75 in the front. So we're looking at these pieces here and the sides. Not a lot of layering, okay? The crown from the crown to the bottom is 10 and the back has an eight inch nice mid-length she is very uh, lightweight for a mid-length uh bob she is 3.33 ounces which is not not heavy she's very light and i also really like the hairline on this one i don't see a lot of lace i see a very small amount of lace pretty invisible. So if you want to do a little pin tuck here, you know, like this looks super natural. Do a little, little pin here if you don't want to have the bangs out. So the other thing I love about, uh, about this wig is the Irish red. I have a very hard time finding reds. Red just, reds is my, they're my true home, my heart, my identity. I do wear other colors because it's hard to find a good vibrant red in the wig world. So I wear blondes and fashion colors, but this is the best red that I found in a synthetic, hands down, the best red that I found in, in a higher end synthetic brand. I have not found another one that is this vibrant. This is a naturally vibrant Irish red. It is not, you know, clown orange. It's very natural and it is cheerful Irish red blended with blonde golden highlights. So before the sun goes down, I really want you to see this dimension. Look at this color. Ay, ay, ay. I see the blonde but the blonde is not overpowering the red it's just a nice highlight of blonde the main color is that gorgeous Irish red which is what I am looking for so I really really love the way they make this color and I hope they make it in more styles soon i think i have both styles that i really like in lighter red i will say too about the color that there is some variation in the color i have two two wigs in irish red by envy and i would say my other wig is not quite as vibrant but it has a maybe a little bit more dimension but some darker parts to it it's still absolutely stunning 
Um, and this one is more, it's got more vibrant, lighter red tones in it. And that's very common with, um, when you're buying synthetics, it seems like the, the way they displace the color, it can vary from style to style. And I love them both. So it's not a big issue for me, but they are a little bit, a little bit different. And, um, this wig is a basic cap as far as the wefting, but it's not a basic cap as far as what's going on in the front. So you have an open wefted cap with pull adjusters to make it bigger or smaller. You have nice soft lace ear tabs and they do sew the hair into the ear tabs for more coverage, which is really nice. And this is where it's definitely not a basic cap. Um, you have a really nice full lace front and you do have a partial monofilament part on the left. So you do, you have about an inch and a half here, but you do have to part it somewhere towards the left. You have to be interested in an off middle part. You'll notice when you see these little dots that that means that there's permatease. There is not a lot of permatease, just a little bit of permatease around the crown. And I want to tell you that I wasn't a big permatease fan until, until I started wearing this wig and I'll show you why I like the permatease on this wig. And it, it took me a little bit to, to embrace it, but in all honesty, when I get her on, I love to kind of give her some volume here at the crown and then kind of flatten those bangs. I just think she looks cute, kind of pumping her up a little bit over here, which is where most of the permatease is, and kind of bringing out that curl. Now, that doesn't mean you have to do it, you know, do it that way. Um, and you can steam your permatease out if you really hate it, but you may want to wear your bangs in more. You may want to cut them a little bit and wear more of a full bang. But guys, she is seriously adorable, isn't she? So if you are not a fan of Vibrant Irish Red, not to worry, this wig comes in 33 colors. So I would imagine you can find a color that works for you because that's a lot of choice. And I hope this helped you with your purchasing decisions on Dakota. She is fabulous. Um, I love her. And if this was helpful, again, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.